Mama, your feet yes. and your stomach. Yes. But the problem is starting there. Yes. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. You feel like there's something moving here. Of course. In your stomach. Mm. And now when you go to toilet, you have to push. Yeah, of course, it's mm. true. It's true. Mm. All the time. I drink oh, even bicarbonate. You drink what? Bicarbonate of soda all the time. Give glory to God. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I thank you. Oh, Lord, I thank you. I saw you on TV and I said, I'm going there, no one can stop me. Oh, give glory to God. You're in this I'm moment. I'm forever. I'm not going anywhere. I know that so God is serving. So you're waiting for me. No matter what I said, this is the place where I belong because yeah. I taught God that I am the spirit. I'm not the flesh. Yeah. I am going to the spirit, not to the dust. Now, the whole of your stomach. It's a, yes. It's a demon inside. Thank you, Jesus. And you see here. Yes. You see here on the sides. Mm -hmm. There are pains. Too much. And now, when you go to the bathroom there, you have to force. I thank you, Lord. But today, Ooh. you're free. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus, my tenant. Oh, Jesus. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. In the morning, because I used to watch Charis on TV, but I never know where is Charis. So I just watch it on TV. But I prayed that so much God can show me. Then I had that strength until I even came to Tembisa. Then they directed me here. And then on that first Sunday I came, Prophet Andres prophesied about something in my system. I knew there was something in my system. And I've went so many churches. There is no church where they saw that thing in me. No church at all since 2014 until now, 2021. And I was so happy so that I have found a place where they can know the problem that I have. Because each and every church, when I seek such kind of help, they tell me about marriage, I get so angry because I can see that I am dying inside me. Even my menstruation, I used to sit on a basket. Sorry, sorry Mama. Uh, yeah, I'll stop it because I want to, to know. You say you go to churches, they tell you about marriage. Can you explain? Uh, when I uh, yes. Instead of telling me about this thing, uh. they said God is telling them that I must get married. I ask, how can I get married with such sickness and diseases in me? They tell me that I'm disobedient. They even curse me. In many churches, they curse me because of, they say, I'm disobedient. When it's time for me for menstruation, I will stay in the basket of 10 liter for the whole night from 9 o'clock at night until in the morning, 6 o'clock. I even left the job because I cannot enjoy anything in my life. Mama, but when you stay in a bucket of 10 liters, what was happening? Blood was coming out, blood. overflowing. Ushwili, ama clots, ama kulu. Big mm. things were coming out. Even my face, I was ugly. And this thing, it causes even rejection to many people. Even when I can go and seek for job, they can hire me nicely, but... After a month, they will ask me, how did we hire you? No one wanted me. Even my child rejected me. I got only one child. But he hated me because of this thing that was inside me. And I was always angry. I never liked anyone. I wanted to stay alone all the time. Even now, I'm still staying alone only with people who are paying rent for the rooms in my yard. But I thank God because I came here, I'm delivered now, I know how to smile, I know how to speak, I speak so much about God and no one is judging me. I used to speak about God. 
But people, they will tell me that me, I want position in churches. They rejected me. No one loves me. And no one loved me. Everyone tried things through me to see. Now, where I was in the church, we have a year now without, they said we must stay at home. But the way people, they were thinking about me, they will phone me and give me a rejection, even on a phone. Even now, I hated everything, but since I came here, I thank God. I thank God of cherries. When I watch cherries on TV at home, I don't get tired. I keep on blessing cherries, and I pray for many. Please don't take, don't take offense if they offend you because offenses must come. But when you read Romans 16 verse 17, it will tell you straight that when they give you offense, you mark them and you avoid them. Stay away from anything that gives you offense because God said, don't let your heart be troubled. Mama, uh, before you go down, tell us on that day when you get prophecy. What happened and how you were prayed for? Can you explain? I was sitting there and then Prophet Andres came and was laying hands to everyone. But when he comes to me, he looked at me and he told me straight that you have something inside you. And I knew that was something. Mm. I was so happy. I was so excited. I was so happy because now I understood that my deliverance has come. The one who saw what is inside me is only one since I was born. And this thing, it was in me. I don't know for how long. Now you are no longer staying in a bucket. You sleep well. Everything. Let's clap hands I for sleep Jesus. Well. God bless you, Mama. God bless you. Things like this is very painful. You can hear uh, my sister, uh, me, I would say my sister because maybe I might be of age or she might be maybe older than me, a little bit. But to be honest, it's very painful to find. You know you've got a problem. Someone say, you, you must get married. Uso chata kanja ni uzo chala bakete the whole night. How can you marry when the whole night uzo wushale bakete uzo when no one is going to uchate ne bakete. Omuntu wazala pa uti. Okay, ufano kuto uchate. You are disobeying. When you know very well that if you can marry, what is it that is going to happen there? I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. She knows this has been a problem. She knows. And she knows, she understands that if this person is a man of God, will tell me about this. I wanted to show you that when I was asking her, I wanted to show you that this is not a work of a man. You understand? He just reached there and say, there's something inside him. And from there, she was prayed for, and then it was over. Can we see the video? Yes! You see here on the sides, mm. there are pains. Too much. And now... When you go to the bathroom there, you have to force. I thank you, Lord. But today, Ooh. you are free. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus, my tenant. Oh, Jesus. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Okay, you, you can just stop there. You saw, he said in Jesus' name, from there he passed Ooh. there. Can you see that? How our God works here, he works in a very mysterious way. Even when we are saying you are free, you are free. Yeah. Come, brother. Did you, did you hear me say, hey, wait now, wait now, wait now. <laughs> I mean, brother, why are you falling now? I'm making an example. All right, God bless you. God bless you.